Hi, I'm Raina Morgan with iHealthTube. We're visiting with Dr. Paris Kidd today. He is the author of P.S. Nature's Brain Booster, and it's really an exciting book that gives us a lot of promise, especially those of us who are aging baby boomers. Welcome, Dr. Kidd. Thanks, Raina. I worked very hard on that book. I bet you did, because it's pretty extensive, and it's pretty promising, too. One of the things that you say in here is that we have to tirelessly urge our body and our spirit on toward health and happiness. Um, is this a battle or is it a path? Well, I suppose, Raina, that we could say that life is a battle, isn't it? Oh, it is. <laughs> I mean, life, life, in a way, is a struggle and we have high points and low points. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I was getting at there is that over the past couple of decades, the neurobiologists have found that the human brain is incredibly adaptable oh. and that the old dogma that came down uh, from the Middle Ages that the brain was fixed and couldn't rebuild itself is just not true. It's not true. The brain actually has lots of stem cells. The brain is constantly remolding itself. Studies indicate that uh, in the cortex there can be a 7% turnover of connections each week. So each in the course week? per week, there can be a 7% turnover of connections. And so over the course of a year, it's possible to replace the cortical tissue at least once or twice or three times, depending on what you're doing and how you're stimulating your brain. Now, the key to it seems to be to do new things. New things. To do new things. Use it or lose it kind of thing? Yes, to just to just keep taking on new projects, new tasks. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the most uh, productive ways to rebuild the brain, too, seems to be to learn a new language. I've heard that. Yes. How about learning to play piano? <laughs> well, something well, like well, that. Well, that, too. And, you know, we find in the brains of musicians that mm. the Broca's area, and some of the other areas related to sound processing uh, are much more developed than in other people. Ah. And so whatever area you want to build up, you can find mental exercises to do that. So you work and work and work on it, keep stimulating it, and that part of the brain will rebuild if it's been damaged and will build new connections if it's a completely new task. This also applies very much to, to stroke victims and even to people who are not functioning very well and who are okay. at risk of dementia. They can recover some of that function. Using PS and other nutrients is part of that process or part of that program. So it is a path as much as it is a battle. Yes. and and. Spiritually, we can actually visualize meditation using brain imaging. Oh, really? And it's interesting, when Buddhist monks and Christian nuns are compared, mm -hmm. the same areas of the brain are found to be turned on, with the only exception being that with the nuns who are actually uh, praying uh, vocally, the additional uh, audio area is turned on whereas in the monks, they're praying quietly, so their audio ear is not turned on. But we can begin to visualize those areas of the brain that are being turned on during meditation. And there's actually serious discussion going on mm. uh, between spiritualists and neurobiologists as to whether we can see functional changes in the brain with spiritual developments. Very exciting area. Very exciting. The monks and, and the nuns, their, their brains are lighting up when they meditate. Well, yeah, uh, so we're beginning to get a functional basis in the brain for meditation and for spiritual progression. There are studies that are going on along those lines. However, uh, in the real world, and to facilitate the brain being at optimal levels of function so that we can best uh, progress along our spiritual path, we do need those material means of support, such as PS, the omega-3s, the B vitamins, the essential minerals, other nutrients that help right. to rebuild the brain, such as glycerophosphocholine and acetylcarnitine. We need those nutrients in order to help the brain to organically function better so that spiritually we can progress as fast as we can. So that's how we bring body and spirit back together. I think so, Raina. And, uh, and 
keeping the brain working, mm -hmm. the use it or lose it adage particularly applies to the brain. We need to keep the brain working, keep the brain flushed with blood through regular physical exercise, and then we have a really good chance to have a high quality life and good spiritual development. That's exciting. Well, we'll come back and visit some more. We want to talk about a healthy brain versus a brain that's declining. And so there's lots of interesting topics to talk about. Thank you, Dr. Kidd. Thank you, Raina.